Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here from EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. Today's Monday Minutes is going to go over acid-based balance real quick, and of course this can be a full lecture, but I'm hoping to just give you some key points here in this five to six minute uh, presentation. Uh, nothing fancy, but I'm hoping that this can help you kind of... Uh, pinpoint some key areas when you're thinking about acid-base balance and when you see this on an exam um, it'll maybe ring a bell or two and allow you to kind of uh, put it together and be able to answer questions correctly and figure out uh, what the question is asking you. So acid-base balance, well it's hydrogen and it's an acid of course and we talk about pH and that's that hydrogen ion concentration which is the balance of the acid produced and the balance of the acid that gets eliminated okay so the higher the amount of hydrogen the lower your pH or that hydrogen ion concentration is going to be and the lower amount of hydrogen the higher amount of that hydrogen ion concentration or the higher the pH is going to be so what's the normal uh, pH for us well it's 7.35 to 7.45 and the way we maintain our pH, the hydrogen ion concentration is using three different systems in the body. One is those chemical buffers, the bicarbonate, the carbonic acid in order to balance out that acid base. Okay. Now the lungs are the other way we do it and by either breathing too fast or breathing too slow we try to regulate the CO2 in the body there. Now, kidneys are a way we do it as well, and they do work well in dealing with alkalosis or acidosis, um, but it takes time. It takes between 10 to 12 hours to do that. So we might not see that in the field uh, as far as the kidneys working, but they do uh, work well getting balancing out that acid base, um, but just that it takes much more time. Um, so we're going to see more in the field uh, as far as lungs and how they're doing it and as far as uh, uh, chemical buffers. Now, there are four different types in respiratory and metabolic, and we're going to just go over them real quick here. And respiratory acidosis, and this is when you're breathing too slowly. Okay, you've got too much CO2, too much carbonic acid, and this is going to lower that pH. And again, patients are hypoventilating, shallow respirations, they might seem disorientated to you or might even be uh, lethargic. Now, respiratory alkalosis, on the other hand, this is when they're breathing too fast, they're breathing too quickly. They have too little CO2, they're blowing off too much CO2, too little carbonic acid, making that pH higher. Now, these are patients we see in the field, those hyperventilating patients where they're very agitated, um, they're upset about something, they might complain of that cramping in their in their fingers and they might be complaining of uh, tingling to their lips or tingling to their extremities um, and might even get to the point where they become unresponsive due to this as well. So this is something we see a lot in the field but just remember uh, alkalosis for respiratory is when they're breathing too fast and acidosis they're breathing too slowly. Now, metabolic uh, acidosis, well, this is when you've got too much hydrogen, okay? Uh, too much hydrogen, too much carbonic acid, a low bicar bicarbonate, and equals a low pH, okay? So, um, you're going to see patients here who are not eating well, they're not urinating well, um, diabetic patients, uh, patients who have prolonged bouts of uh, diarrhea. You might even see that close smell type breathing. Um, you know, that's that breathing. It's that rapid, deep sighing type uh, breathing you're going to see with the body's attempting to blow off that excess CO2. Patients might be weak, again, might be disorientated or even be in a coma as well. And finally, the metabolic alkalosis. And this is when you got too little hydrogen, there's low carbonic acid, high bicarbonate, and this gives you that high pH. And you get patients here who have prolonged bouts of vomiting. Their respirations are going to be shallow. You might even have muscular type issues like spasms or, or tension in their muscles as well. And they might be a little confused or a little uh, uh, slow to answer questions there also. So just try to remember 
that your low pH is for your acidosis, whether it's metabolic or respiratory, and the high pH is for that alkalosis, whether it's respiratory or uh, metabolic, okay? Um, try to keep that in mind when looking at exams, looking at questions, when they try to ask you what's high and what's low, that the acid is the low pH and that the alkalosis is the high pH. And I think if you can take away some of those key points like that, uh, when taking an exam, because uh, they might not be worded the way you're used to or the way you're expecting. And if they word a question a specific way, I think it'll help you to remember just those key points and you can probably put the rest of it together with your other studies regarding acid-base balance and be able to kind of have it click in your mind uh, what the question is asking for. So uh, that's it for this Monday Minutes, guys. I hope you can use them and on your exams, maybe even in the field when you're seeing patients that are breathing too fast or breathing too slow, that w kind of guessing what's going on with these types of patients. Um, you can, of course, see more of the uh, Monday Minutes and, of course, the archive of the uh, weekly podcast over at emsofficehours.com. And this acid-base balance content was actually taken from the EMS Quick Study Guide over at emsseo.com, and you can get the complete study guide there. There's a link in the notes here, um, and you can go get the complete EMS Quick Study Guide there. It's available as either a download or a physical guide, uh, spiral bound guide that you can get or even get both of them. So go check that out at emsseo.com and there's a, uh, a link right below. You can go click on and check that out. Um, that's it for me. Until next Monday, as always, Jim Hoffman from EMS Office Hours. Stay safe.